Hi everyone. So now let's read out this statement and try to solve it. The statement says town X and town Y are 390 kilometers apart. So as you can see I have already drawn one road and let us call this as town X and this one as town at the end of the road is town Y. Right? And what they are saying? They are saying the distance between these two towns is 390 kilometers. So from this point till this point the distance is 390 kilometers. Now what happens? A car travels from town X at speed of 70 kilometers per hour. So this is the town X and a car, I am writing C for car, is starting from here and traveling at a constant speed of 70 kilometers per hour towards town Y. Right? And at the same time, a van starts to travel at 60 km per hour from town Y. And at the same time, a van, I am writing V for van, starts from town Y on the same road towards X at a speed of 60 km per hour. Right? So, what we have to find? We have to find that when and where. We have to find when, that means time. And where, that means distance. At least from one point. Do the car and van pass each other? So, here since both of them are small vehicles and they are running at very high speed, so the length of the vehicles will be negligible. So the moment they meet, they are supposed to cross each other, right? So let's assume that they are crossing each other somewhere at this point, right? Of course, this point will be away from city X and will be nearer to city Y because car is running at higher speed and it will travel more distance compared to the van which is running at lower speed. So let's assume that they meet here. Okay. So if both of them meet here, that means the distance traveled by a car will be from this point to this point and distance traveled by a van will be from this point to this point that is this much. And what can we say about these two distances? Yes, together they are the distance between the two cities. Together they are 390 kilometers. Right? So now let's go ahead and solve this problem. So let's assume that they are meeting T hours after they start. Right? So the distance traveled by this car in T hours will be 70 multiplied by T. Right? And the distance traveled by van in T hours will be 60 multiplied by T. And together these two distances are equal to 390 kilometers. So if we solve this equation further, 70 plus 60 will be 130. So 130t will be equal to 390. And if we divide both the sides by 130, t will be equal to 390 divided by 130 13 threes are 39 so t will be 3 that means they will meet after 3 hours they start right so they are meeting after 3 hours and where are they meeting let's find out so let's find out the distance from city x so they are meeting here if we want to find out how far is this point from city X, we actually have to find the distance traveled by car. Isn't it? Why? Because this much distance, this car is traveling at a speed of 70 kilometers 
per hour. So the distance traveled by car in 3 hours will be the speed of car multiplied by 3. That is 7 3s are 21 and this 0. So 210 kilometers. So this meeting point will be 210 kilometers from city X. Right? So the cars will pass each other at a point 210 kilometers away from city X on the way city Y and they will pass each other after 3 hours they start. Right? So this is the time taken and this is the point. This is where they cross and this is when they cross.